Yo guys, what is up? It's CP, the one and only Monster Gamer. A lot of crazy stuff going on in the NFL. Just nuts, man. I, a lot of stuff happened this week that I never would have thought would have happened. Like Robert Griffin the third, he had, uh, what, 320 yards, two TDs. Uh, looked amazing. Is he the real deal? Well, yeah, the, the guy's talented. He's got a lot of talent. But he also has a lot of talent behind him. And... I, I got to say, I'm not hating on the guy, but I, I still think Andrew Luck will be the better quarterback in the years to come. We'll have to see. Also, one thing about RG3 is he's no Cam Newton. Do not get it wrong. He's a lot smaller than Cam Newton. And I just, I still think Cam Newton's going to be, I mean, obviously he was amazing last year. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, a lot of surprising stuff happened. So let's get into the Jets. I'm eating my I'm eating crow. I was almost gonna say I'm eating my crow, but I'm eating crow here because I made a trolling video about the Jets because of their preseason, their terrible preseason. And man, did they light up the Buffalo Bills. And the Buffalo Bills came back a little bit, but not really. But let's give credit where credit is due, and that's Ryan Fitzpatrick throwing almost like 20 interceptions in one game. I could not believe how much he turned the ball over. It was ridiculous. So, yes, is that on the Jets defense, of course? Yes. But at the same time, it's like he was also helping the Jets along. So don't get it twisted. I think that was just one of those things that happened. Um, it is what it is. Of course, I'll talk about my beloved Dolphins. Uh, there's not much to talk about. Uh, <laughs> there's not much to talk about. We don't have a durable running back. Our defense is a little shaky, but it's not that bad. They held off the Texans for a little bit, actually, until Tannenhill decided to throw, start throwing uh, interceptions. But that's to be, you know, that's going to happen. And, like, he's a rookie QB. I mean, Andrew Luck didn't look that good either. So, it, it is what it is, guys. I mean, the Texans are a really good team. I'm worried about the Dolphins' schedule. Um... I don't see really, there's not too many openings that they're going to win games. And they're kind of in a rebuilding year. In fact, they've been in a rebuilding year ever since Dan Marino left. So, God only knows, guys. I really don't see them doing that well. I'd be surprised if they got six plus wins, and I'd be happy with that. And I know that's kind of sad, but it is what it is. The only way they'll go to the Super Bowl is in Madden. So, that's how I feel about the Dolphins. Also, I was a little disappointed with the Green Bay Packers. I'm not a Packers fan, of course. I'm a, I'm a Bears Dolphin fan. But they were like, Aaron Rodgers just looked lapsadaisical. He didn't look like himself, and I felt like that was their game to lose, and they did. It just, I felt the 49ers are a great team, don't get me wrong. They've got, they've got some amazing players on that team that have really stepped up over the last couple of years, but I feel like... They're, they're very talented, don't get me wrong, but I just felt like Green Bay still is a powerhouse, and for them to lose the very first game of the season, it's just like, what are you guys doing that might bite them in the playoffs? Um, I also want to talk about one other thing that kind of surprised me was huh, the Lions. Yes, the Lions. Okay, the Lions have Matt Stafford, who is pretty darn good, although he looks like he's been hitting the buffets in Las Vegas. And then you got Megatron, who is the single greatest wide receiver we may have ever seen this generation. And they were struggling against the Rams. Come on, the Rams. Let, I mean, it's the Rams. And they were struggling the entire game. Yes, did they come back? And they still won. Congratulations. But still, I, I don't understand that. Patriots, no big deal. Obviously, they were picked away, and they did. They won. Um, the Bears, Colts. Another great game if you're a Bears fan. That was just an awesome game. It's just Jay Cutler, Brandon Marshall is a dream. Like, it's just a dream in heaven and with rose petals and, and just love in the air. I, they're going to be a great team. They just, the, very tough division with the Lions and the Packers. And then you also have the Vikings who actually won. Um, and Adrian Peterson looks like he's kind of back. So... That's a tough division. I still think it's the Packers or Lions in that division, but you never know. The Bears could upset them, uh, and they've got a great team. I mean, you got Matt Forte, you got Brandon Marshall, Jay Cutler, and you got an awesome defense. So, I don't know. Maybe Bears Super Bowl. We'll see. Bears Patriots. 
We'll see. Um, and the ugliest game goes to either the Raiders Chargers or the Eagles Browns. That Eagle Brown game was probably the ugliest football I have ever seen played. In fact, they should, I mean, I hope there's not like one new fan out there that was like, hey, I want to, what's this football all about? I should check it out. Please do not look at that game or the Raiders Chargers. That was horrible. Um, horrible football on display. I just, wow. Um, and what's funny about the Raiders is they're supposed to be like, oh, this is their new team. They're, they're going to go places. Uh, they didn't go anywhere, and they just lost that game single-handedly by themselves. Fumbling, interceptions, just throwing the ball away, uh, not tackling. I mean, that is a dif dysfunctional team. Um, I, I don't get it. And with the Eagles, I love Michael Beck. I, I almost picked him for fantasy, but... Man, that guy has a heart attack waiting to happen, and he keeps getting beat up. I mean, I really don't see him lasting throughout the year if he keeps taking hits like that. I just, that guy is one tough dude, man. He takes hits, takes the licking, and keeps on ticking. So let me know what your biggest upset was, guys. Let me know what uh, what matchup kind of surprised you, and what, uh, I don't know. Who do you think is going to the Super Bowl? I know everybody's making their predictions, but I, I can't at this moment. Maybe the Bears uh, in an upset, and I'd say Bears-Patriots. That's who I'd pick. But, I mean, it's the first week of the season, guys. Everybody's going to the Super Bowl, supposedly. So, I, I wish the Dolphins were better. I really do. Obviously, I'm trying to get them to the Super Bowl uh, <laughs> in Madden. And that's even a tough task in, in, in itself. And that's it, guys. I know I didn't cover every team. I know I didn't cover everything. But I want to kind of keep this video short uh, short and sweet. So, never eat soggy waffles. I love you guys. Be good or be good at it. And I'm out. Commentaries, gameplays, and vlogs all are found on CP's channel that you're watching now. But take a small disclaimer, y'all in danger. You're now tuned in to the Monster Gamer.